Face funny hat, that's what my blondie is. Lovable feet, both flat, that's what my Dagwood is. Blondie's not always right, I let her think she is. All of my thoughts are bright, long as he thinks they're his. Life of us is fun and crazy, baby duffling, us and Daisy, what a family. Incredible, bumsteadable. <laughs> Hurry, you'll miss your bus. Watch out, you'll burn your stew. Nothing's, Nothing's too, too much for us. us. As long as with me, me there's you. Dagwood and Blondie. Blondie and Dagwood. Always, Always with me, me there's you. you. Gee, I sure am hungry, Mom. Me too. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Dagwood, come to breakfast. Good morning, Mrs. Bumstead. Hi, Alexander. Hi, Alvin. Oh, good morning, Alvin. My, that's a fine outfit you have. Thanks. Say, Mrs. Bumstead, can Alexander come out and play? My cousin Ted's going to teach you some razzle-dazzle plays. I'm sorry, but Alexander has to razzle-dazzle the back lawn first. Well, if I cut the lawn, then can I go out? Yes, dear. Yes. Let's go. Come on. Well, I, I, I... Mom, is Daddy going to be late again? Daddy isn't going to the office today, Cookie, but that's no excuse for him to sleep all morning. Daisy, would you come here a moment, please? Daisy, will you please go upstairs and wake up your father? <laughs> Come right down to breakfast. This well. <laughs> um, where's Alexander, huh? He's out mowing the back lawn. Mm, that's fine. It's good for a boy to do some work around the house. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> what a day. It was nice of Mr. Radcliffe to give me the day off. <laughs> oh, I guess he knew I needed a rest. <sighs> well, I think I'll go out the backyard and relax a little bit. It's always nice to take it easy after breakfast. <laughs> Call me for lunch, dear. <laughs> Dagwood. Uh huh? Mr. Radcliffe gave you the day off because I asked him to. Oh, that was nice of you, Blondie. Thanks. <laughs> I told him you had to varnish the floors. Oh. oh, 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 no, Blondie. It's good for a boy to do some work around the house. Please, Blondie, I, I, I don't want to varnish the floor. Look, for once in my life, I'm going to put my foot down. I'm not going to do it. Fine day off. Doggone it. Varnishing floors. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm well, finished, Mom. Tess out front. Can I go now? Oh, yes, dear. Oh, Alexander. Be careful. Your father is varnishing the dining room. Yes, Mom. You be careful, too, Cookie. Ah, don't come in here, fellas. The varnish is still wet. 
I've seen characters in movies get into predicaments like that, but never one in real life. May I ask you a question? I'm pretty busy, Alvin, right now. How are you going to get out of that corner now that you're surrounded yourself with varnish? Hey, now, that's a silly question. All I have to... All I have to do... All I... Oh. <laughs> I have a suggestion, Mr. Bumstead. Yeah, well, I don't want any suggestions. What is it, Alvin? There's a window right behind you. There is? Oh, yes, there is. <clears throat> Good morning. Oh, good morning, officer. Say, you're new around here, aren't you? Yeah, I just graduated from the police academy yesterday. My first day on the force. Uh-huh. And they gave you this beat. What's wrong with it? Oh, nothing. But just watch your step when you're around the Bumstead house up the street. Good luck. the idea coming out the window? Well, there's the only way I could get out. I was cornered. Cornered? Yeah, you see, officer, I had this stuff all over the floor. What stuff? Huh? Well, I didn't want to do it, believe me, but Blondie made me. Oh, an accomplice, huh? huh? Accomplice? No, Blondie, you see, Blondie... It... What's the matter, Ted? I don't know. Uh, well, I... Well, what's the matter, uh, Mr. Bumstead? Huh? Do you know this man? Well, of course, he lives here. Well, why didn't you tell me? Uh, well, you didn't ask me. <laughs> I didn't ask you. Uh, uh, all right, Mr. Uh, Dumb... Uh, uh, Bumstead. <laughs> uh, Mr. Bumstead, uh, let's uh, just forget the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, oh, my. Wait a minute. I got... I'm a little stuck here. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. I, I'll wipe that off. <laughs> <laughs> Varnish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Ted, <laughs> thanks for helping me out. Oh, that's all right. Glad I was around to help. Uh -huh. <laughs> we were over at Alvin's playing football. Ted was showing us all about kicking and forward passing and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> he sure can toss them. Yeah, well, I used to be pretty good myself. <laughs> when I was on the varsity at Central High, old pile driver dag, they used to call me. Boy, would I hit that line. Five yards every time I carried the ball. <laughs> I used to be a pretty good passer, too. Now, look, Ted, the way you hold the ball is like Mr. this. Mr. Bumstead. Uh, uh, and the trick is to spin it. Mr. See? Bumstead. Uh, what? Ted was an All-American halfback when he went to college. Uh, oh. Then he played professional football. Mm. He still holds the record for passes completed in one game. Uh, oh, well. Well, um, I used to be a pretty good pass catcher, too. <laughs> Old Sticky Fingers Daggy, they used to call me. <laughs> sticky Fingers. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we better go look for the football that's got my favorite finger. <laughs> Oh, no. There it is. <laughs> come on, let's go get the football. Yeah. Oh, you come too, Mr. Bumstead. I, uh, I want to hear some more about Central High. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'll tell you the time we played in that blinding snowstorm. Hey, just a minute. I beg your pardon. You're not going in there, are you? I certainly am. But that's Bumstead's house. I'm well aware of that. But he hasn't gone to work yet. I know it. I gave him the day off. Well, day off or no day off. You're risking your neck going up that path. That man comes out of that door doing 90 miles an hour. He'll knock you flat on a pancake. Bumstead, are you crazy? I'm warning you. 
Oh, good old Central High was six points behind. There we were on the 40-yard line with one minute to go. The quarterback called for a pass. Boy, I took off like a streak. Uh, throw me a pass, Ted, and I'll show you. Go ahead, center it, Alvin. Come on, let's go. Don't you worry about me. I can handle Bumstead. But... Uh... <laughs> I caught it. <laughs> oh, no. No, it can't be. Mr. Radcliffe, you're at the office. Mom said I ought to fire you. Huh? I didn't give you the day off to come out here and play football with these kids. Yeah. Come in the house. I want to talk to you. Uh, Just a minute. Uh, come in here. What did I tell you? 90 miles an hour. Well, Blondie, I, uh, I'm sorry to take Dagwood away, but I have something very important for him to do. Yeah. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Radcliffe. He can finish the floor Sunday. <laughs> Dagwood, huh? do you think you can be a dummy? Well, uh, I... Now, uh, Mr. Radcliffe, I... Dagwood may not be a genius, oh, wait but a minute, all... wait a minute. You don't understand. A dummy is someone who acts for you in a business deal. Oh. Now, I want to buy some land, and I don't want my name used. Oh, oh that kind of a dummy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that kind, too. Now, here's the deal. There's a tract of about 12 and a half acres on North Riverdale Road. Ah. The Platte Realty people hold it, and they'll sell it reasonably if they don't find out that George M. Radcliffe wants it. <laughs> That's where you come in. Oh. Now, you take an option on that piece of property at any price under nine fifty an acre. Here's $1,000 for the option. Oh, boy, $100 bills. Look at them. <laughs> you sure you've got this straight, Dagwood? Oh, sure, Mr. Radcliffe. All right, sure. now, here is the tract. All you do is buy it in your name. That's simple enough, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, get right on it, will you? <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Walcliffe. <laughs> Dag, it'll be the best dummy you ever had. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? We'll come back in an hour. Why don't we wait? Because we don't want to appear anxious to sell the property. Well, ain't we? Certainly, but we don't want Platt to know it. Well, what do you think we'll be able to get for this land? Oh, be lucky if we get 500 for the whole deal. Only 500 bucks. What are you beefing about? Whose bright idea was it? Yours? Yeah. Yeah. We'll start a duck club, he says. We'll sell memberships to suckers and clean up, he says. How should I know that the ducks never come near the place? Well, the suckers knew it. And well, we can tell Platt that we... Shh. Here he comes. Hello. That isn't Platt. Oh, oh, just leaving, huh? Well, we... Uh, Gosh, I'm glad I caught you. I wouldn't want to wait around here a whole hour. Look, mister, we're not... Uh, we're not in a hurry. Nothing that we couldn't put off if you mean business. Oh, sure I mean business. I want to buy some land. Huh? Have, huh? Well, well, well. <laughs> we want to sell some land. Yeah, <laughs> small world, isn't it? Uh, sure is. <laughs> uh, uh, could we discuss it over lunch? Yeah, it's a good idea. Oh, thanks. <laughs> So you want the 12 acres on Riverdale Road? At $850 an acre. You drive a hard bargain, Bumstead. Oh, sure do. Well, I guess he's got us where he wants us. <laughs> guess so. <laughs> listen, Bill, listen. You're not going to let that land go at that price. Why not? I like this man. I think he has character, integrity. <laughs> well, maybe so, but you can't cash that stuff at the bank. Now, look, we agreed not to let that land go under 1100 an acre. I'm not going to argue with you, Ed. I've had enough of your quibbling. Oh, no. Well, now, why shouldn't I quibble? Giving things away right and left. Yeah, this no, is the I, showdown. I, I, I'm sick and tired of your whining. Either we sell this man the land on his terms, or we call a partnership off right now. Oh, now, Bill, I, there's no need to get excited. On his terms or else. Well. Okay, okay. Okay. That, that's that, huh? Uh-uh. <laughs> no hard feelings. No, no, no we're not. <laughs> there we are. Why? Oh, I'm sure it's all there. Here you are. Have some coffee. Oh, yeah. Waiter? <laughs> yeah, hang the expense. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Hi, gang. Hi, Dad. Dad. That's okay. Right, Mr. Rector. Oh, did you get it? Oh, I'll say. There you are. There's the option sign. Seal and delivery. How much? Eight fifty an acre. Oh, good. Come in, Dagwood. Uh, Dagwood, that was fine work. I didn't expect results so soon. Let's have that chair, will you, Ollie? Sit down, Dagwood. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> uh, 
Dagwood, you are a fast worker. Oh, thanks, Jim. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bumstead, please. He's in Mr. Radcliffe's office. Well, I'll see if he can talk to you. There's a gentleman here to see Mr. Bumstead. He's busy now. Uh, uh, is it important? Uh, it's about that property on Riverdale Road. Oh, it's about that Riverdale property. Send him in. Looks like the word is out. I'm back of you. <laughs> Things will start popping from now on. <laughs> Let them pop. We're in the bag. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Bumstead? Oh, uh, I'm Mr. Bumstead. <laughs> oh, Bumstead. I'm Blodgett, Leroy J. Blodgett. Ah. Mm -hmm. I understand that you're the purchaser of some property. It's not for sale. Well, but I, I don't, don't care what you offer. I'm not selling it. Well, uh, my goodness. I even don't... a big profit wouldn't interest me. No, no. I'm not even interested in buying your old mud puddle. Huh? All I want to do is bid on the job of draining it. Oh, I see. D draining it? Why, of course. It's a swamp. Oh. Two feet of water on it. Oh. Two feet of water. <laughs> what am I laughing at? Oh. Twelve and six tenths acres on South Riverdale Road. Huh? The land I wanted was on North Riverdale Road. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look out. Look out. Need a description of the land when you bought it? Ooh. Well, I... Two I, feet of water on it. What am I going to do with it? Raise frogs? Well, that might be a good... Armstead, huh? do you know what I'm going to do to you? Fire me, I guess. No, I can't fire you. You owe me too much money. Yeah, but... The... You bought a swamp. I didn't. You bought it with my money, and you're going to pay me back out of your salary. Yeah, but... You'll Mr. be all paid up in a year or so, and then I can fire you. Meanwhile, you'll be one of the highest paid office boys in the world. Yeah, but... From but... now on, I wouldn't trust you with anything bigger around here than running errands. Yeah. And another thing. Huh? You don't need a private office as an office boy. Ollie, you can have Bumpster's office from now on. Oh, please, And Mr. you can Rand. start your new job by filing those estimates. All right, I'll be an office boy, but I'll be a good one. I'll admit I was careless, but I've learned my lesson. And I'll never do anything to cause you any trouble again. So you see, Blondie, I made a terrible mistake. I have to pay back the thousand dollars, every cent of it. Dagwood, how could you do such a thing? Well, those two men. You know, I bet they were crooks. I'll bet they were. Oh, I ought to go jump in the lake or something. I wasn't even smart enough to be a good dummy. Oh, I brought you nothing but trouble, Blondie. I don't see why you put up with me. Dagwood, don't you dare talk like that. Just because you're good and kind and honest, you think everyone else is, too. And they just take advantage of you. Why, we wouldn't want you to change for all the money in the world. Would we, children? Huh. No, Daddy, we like you just the way you are. Goodness knows it's hard enough to get along even now the way prices are. But we'll manage somehow. Oh. I'll get a job, Pop. I'm old enough. Oh. I have lots of money in my piggy bank. <laughs> we'll save as we've never saved before. We'll cut expenses to the bone. <laughs> oh, look, Daisy wants to help, too. <laughs> 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 Alexander, Daddy must have gone back to sleep again. Will you please go up and wake him up? Yes, Mom. We're not having bacon this morning, Cookie. We're saving it for Sundays. All right, Mommy. Come on, Pop, wake up. Come on, get up. I don't know what to do. It's you. Good morning, Alexander. Good morning. <laughs> Gee, I had the silliest dream. Yeah? Yeah. I dreamt I lost my office and bought a worthless old swamp. <laughs> what am I saying? I did. I did. Oh, Mr. Johnson. Oh. Oh. Good morning, Alvin. How are you? Okay. What do you got there? Well, something I sent for. Guess I'll look a lot different pretty soon. No fooling. Yeah, I look like this. Oh, mustache too? 
No, just the muscles. You too can have muscles like this. Body Beautiful Incorporated, Cleveland, Ohio. Full equipment sent by return mail. Full equipment? Yeah, one of these barbells. And I have to deliver it. I knew there was a catch to it somewhere. I thought Bumstead had me. Bumstead? The fellow that lives in there? Say, are you crazy? It was only yesterday morning that a man said that. No man can go 90 miles an hour, he said. Then wham! Flat on a pancake. Me too. It's all right. Take it easy. Come on, I'll go with you. Yeah, but you don't know look, what... Look, look, nothing can happen to you if I'm with you. Uh, where's my bacon, huh? Well, Dad, would I... Oh, oh, yes, dear. I forgot we were cutting down on expenses. I'll get my old job back, so help me. I'll make myself so valuable to Mr. Radcliffe that he'll have to give it back to me. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to be on time every single morning. I... I... Oh, 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 See what you mean. What an experience. Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Radcliffe. Why, Dagwood just left. Oh, I see. I uh, wanted to remind him of an errand I gave him last night. Yes, I wanted him to pick up some plans on his way to the office. Uh, did he remember to do it? Well, hi, Alex. Shh. Uh, Mr. Radcliffe, he didn't mention it. Blondie, I'm a patient man, but there's a limit to my patience. Mr. Dixon is a very important client, and we assured him that we'd pick up those plans he's okayed. Now, did Dagwood remember to do it, or didn't he? Oh, I'm quite sure he remembered. Yes, Mr. Radcliffe. Goodbye. What's the matter, Mom? Well, Daddy was supposed to pick up some plans on his way downtown. Let's face it, Mrs. Bumstead. He probably forgot. Now, Alvin. I guess he did. Gee, and he's already in the doghouse. My cousin Ted's got a car. Maybe he can get the plans and take them down to the office. Oh, Alvin, do you suppose Ted would? Sure, I'll go ask him. Okay. Dixon, Dixon, that must be John B. Dixon. I've heard Daddy mention him. Now, let's see. Dixon, Dixon. Here we are. John B. Dixon, 603 Mapleton Drive. You got it fixed? Yeah. Ted, will you do an errand for Mrs. Bumstead? Sure, I'd be glad to. Oh, here's the address, Ted. All you have to do is ask for the plans for Mr. Bumstead. Thank you so much. Right. Pardon me, uh, do you know if Mr. Dixon's at home? No, but I think you'll find Miss Dixon over by the swimming pool. Oh, thanks. Pardon me. I was to pick up some plans. Oh, yes, the man from the Radcliffe Company. Please wait. I'll get them, Mr. Bumstead. Mr. Bumstead. Mm. 
See here, Alice, if you think you're going to get away with this, you're mistaken. Oh, I am. Well, since when do you decide what I can and can't do? But I bought those tickets two weeks well, ago. Well, you can just go with somebody else. Now, you listen to me. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, I, I just came here to pick up some plans. Some plans? Yes, the butler asked me to wait. Aaron boys aren't supposed to lie around the terrace. Oh. Sorry. Don't go. You can stay here as long as you like. Let go of me. Alice, listen to me. Look, maybe I don't belong here, but before I go, let go of her. Oh. My word, sir, that certainly was a corking right hand. And if I may say so, sir, you certainly cooled off Mr. Day. Mr. Day? Miss Dixon's fiancé. My word, wait till Mr. Dixon hears about this. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Bumstead! Mr. Bumstead! Wait, wait, wait. Where is he? Mr. Radcliffe isn't in yet. Phew. Uh, my bus was a little late this morning. There was a traffic jam on Walnut Street. You better save that one for some time when Mr. Radcliffe gets here first. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Bumstead, please. Oh, hello, Ted. Oh, Mr. Bumstead, I... I... Oh, the plant. I, I forgot... But, Mr. Bumstead, I've got to tell Bumstead. you... Yeah, huh? Oh, well, you remembered it after all. I must admit, I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah, huh? <laughs> There's a prick in my neck. Friend of yours? No. I, 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 I... I... Well, come into my office. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, Bumstead, how did you get along with Mr. Dixon? Well, He's uh, a tough customer. Did he have any complaints about these floor plans? Uh, no, but... That's good. He's got quite a place there, hasn't he? Uh, 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 Mr. Radcliffe, I... Uh... Did you see the swimming pool? Uh, no, but... You know, Dagwood, the fact that you remembered this little errand and did it right mm -hmm. gives me some hopes for you. You're liable to be back in your own office sooner than you think. Oh, but... <laughs> yes? Mr. Dixon's on the phone. Fine, put him on. Hello, Mr. Dixon, how are you? Fine. Say, Radcliffe. What's the name of that fella you sent over to my place? Oh, Bumstead. Yeah, that's right, Bumstead. Quite a fella. Packs a wicked right, they tell me. A uh, wicked right? I don't understand, Mr. Dixon. Uh, you mean he, he hit somebody? Huh? Hit somebody? You can say that again. Didn't he tell you? Well, no. He's, he's right here. He didn't say anything. Oh, I, 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 I... Oh, no! He did! Into the swimming pool? <laughs> Oh, he, he ruined his clothes. He cracked two of his what? Oh, Mr. Dixon, I don't know what to say. Well, you don't have to say anything. Just send this fellow Bumstead over to see me. Mr. Dixon, I assure you I'll deal with him. Look, Radcliffe, didn't I make myself clear? Just send him over to me, that's all. Oh, oh yes. Yes, sir. What, 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 what happened? <laughs> Well, Bumstead, you had quite a visit at the no. Dixon place, didn't you? Well, uh, it, I... I thought you told me that you didn't see the swimming pool. Uh, I didn't. Then how could you have locked his future son-in-law into it? Oh, but... Don't lie to me! You hit him so hard you cracked two of his teeth. Oh, I no. don't want to discuss it. All I know is I wanted that Dixon job and you've lost it for me. Uh, yeah, Dagwood, uh, this is the last straw. Uh, you mean I'm... Yes, I'm... unless you square things with Dixon, you're through. He wants to see you. I don't know why, well, as he I... wants to beat you to a pulp himself. And that is a lovely thought. Hurry up now and get what's coming to you. Well, I... Well, I... Well, I... I... Oh, no. Uh, is Mr. D Dixon in? Oh, you're Mr. Bumstead. Mr. Dixon's waiting for you. Oh.
In here, please. There's any need for Oh, yeah. You know what these are for, don't you? Uh, yes, sir, but... Come on, put them on. Get them on. Well, I hadn't expected anything like this. I... I'm supposed to be pretty good with these. Now, huh? I want you to show me the punch you hit that conceited blue blood with. Come on. Oh, now, wait a minute, Mr. Dixon. Come I, on. I, 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 I you know, the, you, that would-be son-in-law of mine. Yeah, show me what you did to him. Yeah, Come but... on, give it to him. Now, wait just Come a minute. Come on, let me have it now. Come on. Now, look, now. look, look, look. Come on, let me have it now. Come on. Where's that punch of yours? Straighten up. Wait a minute, Mr. Dixon. Look. Everybody go. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Mr. Dixon, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Mr. Dixon, you, you can hit me, huh? Go ahead and hit me. Oh, say something, Mr. Dixon. Oh, please, say something. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Say, oh, yeah. I never would have believed it. Where did that punch come from? Oh, well, it... So that's what Cluett got. What? Beautiful. Huh? I'd have given a thousand dollars to see it. Well? Where in the world did you dig that punch up from? Well, you know, well, I was standing there, and all of a sudden, everything went black. Well... Now then, Radcliffe wants to build my new plant for me, eh? Oh, y yes, sir. Fine. The plans are okay. A few minor changes. I've noted them down. Oh, yes, Well, sir. never mind the plan. Bumstead, when I award a contract, mm -hmm. the plans come second. Men come first. Oh. <laughs> I've made over a million dollars just being a good judge of men. Now, Radcliffe is okay. His plans are okay. Uh -huh. But when a firm has a hard-hitting young executive like you, mm -hmm. that's the firm I do business with. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> You'll get the job hands down, Bumstead. Oh. <laughs> well. And say, uh, my daughter was quite impressed by you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How'd you like to come out to the house sometime? Maybe if that stuffed shirt Cluett shows up, you can knock him into the pool for me, huh? <laughs> well, I, I, uh, oh, well yeah. I'll see you later, Bumstead. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh. Yes, Marie? Mr. Jordan calling, sir. He's at the real estate office. Good. Put him on. Meanwhile, get the Radcliffe company for me. I never should have kept Bumstead even as an office boy. One of the most stupid things I ever did. Yes, sir. Yes? Mr. Dixon's on the phone. Mr. Dixon, I'm so glad you called. You saw Bumstead. Yes. Radcliffe, that man hits like a pile driver. He knocked me flatter than a flounder. Oh, no. He hit you, too? Mr. Dixon, this is the end. I'll fire him the minute he shows his face in this office. Wait a minute. Who said anything about firing him? But he hit you, and he, and he knocked that fellow into the pool. Cluett, listen, Radcliffe, let's get this straight. I despise that stuck-up blue blood. If I socked him myself, my daughter might marry the guy just to show me that I can't push her around. Very stubborn girl, Radcliffe, very stubborn. Incidentally, she's quite impressed by Bumstead. He's, uh, single, of course. Single? Single? Oh, yes, of course. Well, Radcliffe, the contract is yours, so far as I'm concerned. I'll sign just as soon as I get my hands on a certain piece of property I'm after. I'll drop over as soon as I hear from my real estate man, right? And let me tell you, you're mighty lucky to have a brilliant young executive like Bumstead. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. 
He called Dagwood a brilliant young executive. I think. Yes, sir? Mary, that was Mr. Dixon, wasn't it? Well, yes, sir. Radcliffe Construction Company. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Bumstead isn't in the office. Do you have any idea where I can reach him? Well, I believe Mr. Bumstead went over to Mr. Dixon's office. Oh, I was, I was afraid of that. Oh, oh, I mean, I'm sorry I missed him. Now, goodbye. Yes, I got them. Oh, uh, good. I'm so glad. Uh, Mrs. Bumstead. Yes? Uh, uh, something pretty terrible happened. I, I, I'm afraid I got Mr. Bumstead in an awful jam. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Mrs. Bumstead, if a fellow took a punch at you, if you were a man, of course, wouldn't you hit him back? Yes, I, I guess I would. <laughs> oh, my. Did Dagwood hit somebody? Well, well, no, but Mr. Dixon thinks he did because, well, you see, I hit somebody and... I mean, uh, Mr. Dixon thinks Mr. Bumstead is me because, well, the butler thought so. And oh, uh, I... just a minute, please. Uh, maybe I'm not listening carefully. Um, shall we try it again, Ted? Okay. Uh, I went to the Dixon's place, yes. and the butler thought I was Mr. Bumstead. Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything because, well, I didn't think it mattered. Mm -hmm. Then I got into a fight with Miss Dixon's boyfriend and knocked him into the pool. Oh. And th that's all. Oh, that's all? You mean Mr. Dixon thinks Dagwood did it? I'm afraid so. Oh! Oh, well, we'll have to go right down to Dagwood's office and straighten this whole thing out. Come on, you children will have to come along, too. You'll have to hurry up and get dressed. I can't leave them home alone. Oh. My boy, I've been waiting to talk to you. <laughs> ah, look, you're getting your old office back. Holly, step on it, will you please? Yes. Dagwood, well, come inside. I want you to tell me all about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> oh, Holly, be sure you leave my office nice and clean. <clears throat> Dagwood Dixon just phoned. He's 100% sold on you. It's miraculous. How did you do it? Oh, I just hit him on the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a new wrinkle in salesmanship. Dagwood, this is only the beginning. Dixon's a big man. He has interests all over the country. With him on our side, the Radcliffe Company can go places. Why, nothing can stop us. Yeah, but Mr. Radcliffe... Dagwood, where is your vision? What can stop us? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll go park the car, Dad. All right. I got to get a couple of cigars. I'll meet you up in Radcliffe's office. All right. Mary, is Mr. Bumstead in? He's in Mr. Radcliffe's office. Poor Dagwood. Well, I must see him right away. Bumstead's here. Oh, send her in. Go right in. Oh, oh uh, Ted, I think maybe I'd better go in first. Mommy, I'm thirsty. Oh. The water cooler is right over there in the corner. Oh, thanks. It was all a mistake, Dagwood didn't. Oh, 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 Blondie, what a surprise. What brings you here? <laughs> well, I, I thought Dagwood oh. was in trouble again. Oh, you heard about that little brawl over at Dixon's. Well, Dagwood certainly picked the right fellow to pop on the chin. Dixon <laughs> detests the guy, and that put Dagwood in solid. What a lucky break for us. Oh, well, uh, Mr. Radcliffe, I think there's something you should know. All I know is that Dixon contract is in the bag. But... Oh, excuse me. Yes? Mr. Dixon's here to see you. Mr. Dixon? Oh, fine. Uh, 
Uh, tell him I'll be right out. Blondie, I... Blondie, you've got to get out of here or, or hide or something. Well, what on earth? You can't be married to Dagwood. I told Mr. Dixon that Dagwood was a single man. Oh, you did? Uh, now, Blondie, well... this is no time to quibble. String along with me on this until I get this deal over and I'll do anything for you, anything. You mean you won't make Dagwood pay you back that thousand dollars? Oh. Uh, no, no. All right, Mr. Radcliffe, it's a deal. Uh, what's the idea of keeping me waiting? Hiya, champ. <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh. Oh. is that all, Mr. Bumstead? I'll type the letters as soon as possible. Uh huh? Oh, Mr. Dixon, this is Mr. Bumstead's secretary, Blondie. I mean, Miss. Uh... Oh, oh, Blondie's good enough for me. How do you do, Blondie? How do you do, Mr. Dixon? Say, where do you get secretaries like this? Huh? You'd better watch out, Bumstead. I may take her away from you as part of our deal. <laughs> Uh, oh, say, uh, can I use your telephone? I've got to talk to my real estate man. Oh, yes, of course. Yes. Don't go away, Blondie. We may need you. Now, no, no, listen, Blondie, I... Please, I... Mr. Bumstead. Hello, Marie. I'm at Radcliffe's. See, I want you to get hold of Jordan, my real estate man, and tell him to call me here the minute that deal is set. That's right. Goodbye. Well, that's that. I'm ready to sign that contract the minute Jordan tells me he bought that lamp. Well, let's get to work. Blondie, take this down. Huh? Oh. Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Addendum corrections to contract between uh, J.B. Dixon Incorporated and Radcliffe Construction Company. Uh, too fast? No. <laughs> Contingent upon final real estate title and upon uh, notification of the board of directors of J.B. Dixon Incorporated, the following stipulations and corrections are in effect. This makes your fourth one. Isn't that enough? I want another one. Oh, Cookie, you spilled it. Here. I'm Alice Dixon. I believe my father is in with Mr. Radcliffe. Sign, J.B. Dixon. Yes. Now, read that back to me, will you please? Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> yes? Miss Dixon is here. Miss Dixon? Well, you hear that, Bumstead? My daughter's here. Surprised, aren't you? <coughs> yes, sir. Send her in. Oh, uh, send her in. Yes, sir. Will you go right in, please? Mr. Bumstead. Oh. Hello. I wanted to thank you for what you did. Clear it was impossible. I'm glad you taught him a lesson, Mr. Bumstead. Oh, well, well that's all right. Dad despises Clear But he likes you so well that he's going to see that you get a raise, Mr. Bumstead. Oh. Oh, that's just fine. You know, Dad was teasing me. He said that I came up here just to see you. That would be silly, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, wouldn't it? No, I mean, I... I'm glad you did. Well, you don't act as if you were. Oh, I'm sorry. But I am glad to see you. Well, that's better. Let's go see Dad. He's Mr. Radcliffe's office. Oh, oh, no, no. No, let's don't. Well, Mr. Bumstead, if Dad doesn't behave himself, just hit him in the jaw again. Hit him on the jaw? Again? Why, yes. Like you did in his office. Oh, oh yes. In his office. Uh, let me show you my office first. Where is that daughter of mine? Bumstead, fetch her in here, will you? Yeah, but, uh, go but, ahead. But, but, go ahead. Oh, well. Uh, and remember, you're a single man. Now, that's an order. There's Daddy. Oh, shh. Hi, Pop. I'm not your Pop. Huh? It, well, I'm not married anymore. Mr. Radcliffe says so. Does Mom know about this? Uh, look, Alexander. Daddy, I'm hungry. Shh, okay, okay. Would you like to get some candy or something, huh? Gee, swell. All, all right, now, here's 50 cents. You go down to the I want a chocolate oh, soda. Shh. All right, all right, here, here. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, Alice, there you are. Bumstead, come in here. Yes, yes sir. sir. 
Oh, oh, uh, my assistant uh, uh, signs letters for me and everything. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, wait right here, will you please? But oh, I... Wait right here, I'll be right back. Who's that? Oh, this is Ted. His assistant. Yes, my assistant. Well, where's my daughter? Uh, Mr. Bumstead asked her to wait. Yes, I asked her to wait. Well, what's the big idea? I want her to meet Radcliffe. Bring her in here, Bumstead. Yes, yes sir. sir. Who's that other guy? His shadow? Huh? His shadow. <laughs> Pretty uh. good. <laughs> Father wants you to come in now. Thank you. Uh, uh, my uh, my assistant and I have to uh, have to look up some plans. Uh, huh? we'll, we'll be in uh, later. What what plans? Yeah. <laughs> oh, here she is, Alice. This is Mr. Radcliffe. How do you do? do, do? Bumstead's secretary, Blondie. Oh, Say, you? where is Bumstead and that other fellow? They went to look up some plans or something. Oh, for Pete's sake. Bumstead! What, 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 what do we do now? I wish I knew. chewing on my ankle, you cannibal. Yeah, well, I'll... Shh, Shh, Mr. Bumstead, not so loud. Shh. Daddy, we need more money. Cookie Shh. dropped the money you gave us through a grating on the sidewalk. Oh, Look, I here's don't... some more money. Yeah, see, we're, we're trying to keep Mr. Dixon from finding us. Huh? Oh. Mommy! Uh -huh. Oh, no. Look, kids. Wait, 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 I'm kids. hungry. Uh, yeah. Mommy? Are these your children? Yes. Daddy's too. Oh, yes, of course, and Daddy's too. And what's your Daddy's name, little girl? Dad Good Bumstead. Oh, Bumstead. Bumstead? Look here, Radcliffe, you told me Bumstead was a single man. What kind of skullduggery is this? As for you, Bumstead, the How fine you chiseler you are, like passing you yourself off as a single children. man. You well, the you father had a of two children. You are, myself. without a doubt, the I cheapest trickster I ever had anything to do Sunday, with, Bumstead. Bumstead. Hey, wait a minute. This is Bumstead. No, Dad, this is Bumstead. No, Alice, I tell you, this is Bumstead. Here, yeah, little girl, is this your father? Sure. She? All I know is this is the man who came to the house and said he was Bumstead. But, but I... And knocked poor Clue into the pool. Oh, I get it now. And a mighty pretty scheme it is, too. If you let me explain... Shut up! I wouldn't let you build a doghouse for me. I'll put up my plant with my own two hands before I'll give you a nickel's worth of business. Will you listen to me? No. I don't mind for myself. I can take it. When a dirty trick is pulled on me, I can fight back, and believe me, I will, too. But to play a low-down trick like that on my daughter... Father, please. Alice, wait a minute. I hope she pushes him down the elevator shaft. Mr. Dixon, you have every right to be angry, but things aren't as bad as they seem. If you'd only just listen... No. Yeah, but if it... No! Well, very well, then, Mr. Dixon. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Oh, I'll see you later. 
fine pack of chiselers. Now, just a minute, Mr. Dixon. You can take your business anywhere you like, but I want you to understand one thing. In spite of what happened, those Bumsteads are very fine people. Oh, skip it. And another thing. This whole thing is as much my fault as it is theirs. All right, so you're a chiseler, too. I did... uh, uh, where's my hat? It's in there. Radcliffe Construction Company. There's a call for Mr. Dixon. All right. Phone call for you. Hello? Yes, Jordan. What? Somebody grabbed it first. Oh, fine, fine. Well, somebody bought the piece of land I need right out from under my nose. That makes everything perfect. I couldn't build now even if I wanted to. Dad, listen. Ted explained the whole thing. It was just a silly mistake. All right, so it was a mistake. What do you want me to do? Kiss him? Well, well, no, sir, but I thought since this thing was mostly my fault, you wouldn't hold it against Mr. Bumstead, Mr. Ratcliffe. Oh, well, the whole deal's off anyway. Somebody beat me to the land I need. Now, what gets me is how anybody ever found out I wanted that property. No man needs a right mind to buy that miserable piece of swamp. Come on, Alice. Swamp? Swamp? <laughs> Mr. Dixon! I heard you say swamp. You said swamp. That's what you said. Well, what about it? South Riverdale Road. Yes. Twelve and six-tenths acres. Yes. There's no other swamp around there. No, no. Are you sure you want to buy a swamp? Of course I am. It'll be a proving ground for my tractors right in my own plan. But you said that nobody in their right mind would buy it. That's what you said. That's right. That's right. A dummy would, wouldn't he? Yes. It, what? A dummy bought it. Bumstead. He bought your swamp. Oh! Radcliffe, we're in business again. <laughs> Mary, get Bumstead on the telephone. Oh, no, he just left. Say, look, I've got to have that land. I own everything around it. This is the key piece. Never mind the phone. Let's go. Mary, keep trying to get the Bumsteads, and when you get them, tell Dagwood to sit tight until we get there. Yes, sir. The phone's ringing. Oh, there's a smart man for yeah. you. Yeah. That phone's been ringing ever since we got here. I wonder if that guy found out what we sold him. Well, if he didn't, he darn soon will. Maybe that's what the phone was ringing for. Who'd have dreamed it? Dixon wanting to buy that property. If we'd only used our two heads. We knew the property all around it was selling. We could have held him up for 30 or 40,000 bucks. Yeah, and you had to sell it to that chump. Cheap. Now, don't blame me. You were as tickled as I was when we found that yokel. Oh, well. No sense of holding post-mortems. If Bumstead hasn't found out what he bought, we still have a chance of getting it back. Yeah? Yep. We just tell him we made a mistake and we want to rectify it. We want to what? Rectify it. Change it! Oh, oh, yeah. But I wonder if he'd be sapping up to fall for that. Bumstead would. We sold him, didn't we? We can unsell him. What are you snooping around for? Yeah. Were you snooping or just listening? Huh? You know who lives here? Does somebody live here? Does somebody live here? The kid's a half-wit. Yeah. Did you hear us talking about Mr. Bumstead? Duh. Who's Mr. Bumstead? The man who lives here. Does somebody live here? Does somebody live here, he asks. Mr. Bumstead lives here, you imbecile. Duh. Who's he? The man who lives here. Uh, what's his name? Mr. Uh, uh, Bumstead. Yeah, Bumstead. Bumstead. Oh, you imbecile, get out of here, you lame brain, and don't come back! Oh, oh. Here he comes. Well, 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 Mr. Bumstead. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah. Huh? Hey. The crooks. Oh, I'll mow them down. What? I'll mow them down. Dagwood, what's the matter? Well, let me at him. Is it there the men that sold me that old swamp? Well, sure we are. I'm going to hear to wreck it. Rectify it? Yeah. Mm. Madam, would we be here if we had cheated your husband? Why, well, I guess not. Yeah? Well, I want my money. That's exactly why we're here. We want to give it back to you. Yeah. Uh, huh? My dear boy, don't you understand that by mistake we sold you the wrong piece of land? <laughs> All you have to do is, is just sign this release 
and give us back the option. You have it here? Well, it's in the house. Well, uh, yeah. shall we go in? We're very anxious to correct our mistake. Oh, oh, sure, sure. <laughs> hey, guys, I guess I was all wrong about you. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gee. Well, Oh, and no hard feelings, oh. huh? Uh, Think nothing of it. <laughs> I say, this is a nice little joint, I mean, a uh, nice little chapeau you have here, Mr. Bumstead. Uh-huh. Hello. 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 Oh, they must have hung up. Mommy, I'm hungry. Of course you are, dear. Alexander, fix Cookie something to eat. Yes, Mom. Don't forget to feed Daisy and the puppies. Okay. Okay. Would you like to come in the living room? Oh, right in here. Dagwood, may I have the key to the desk? Oh, I haven't got it, Blondie. You have. Oh, no, Dagwood. I distinctly remember giving it to you. Oh, yes. Now I remember. It's in my other pants. <laughs> you know, the way it happened, I was wearing that suit. And, uh, yeah, I'll go get it. Uh, oh, Dagwood. I sent that suit to the cleaners. Uh, the brown one? Oh, no, the gray one. The one you spilled the strawberry jam on. Oh, no, the keys are in the brown one, the one I spilled the milk on. Fine time for a flat tire. Ted can take us to a service station. Service station? Forget it. Ted, take us to Bumstead's. Way a long time, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Daisy. This is Daisy. Shake hands with the gentleman, Daisy. <laughs> oh, why, oh, excuse me. Why, Daisy, I'm so surprised at you. Yeah, that's funny. She never growls at any of our friends. <laughs> Maybe she thinks we're a couple of dog catchers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple of dog catchers. <laughs> <laughs> She's too young for that kind of stuff, isn't she, Mom? <laughs> Cookie, you may not have pickles and ketchup. Pickles and ketchup. Mm, yeah. Oh, boy, that looks good. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> Mr. Bumstead. What? If you please. What? Oh, yes, yes, the, <laughs> the, the paper, yes. How are your brakes? Oh, fair. Fair. Oh! Oh, I, I beg your pardon. Oh, that's all right. Say, Radcliffe, did you ever box with Bumstead? Huh? No. Oh, the man hits like a pile driver. Oh, really? Oh, yes. It's amazing. You know, he just winds up and then all of a sudden, right out of nowhere, wham! Ooh. Oh! Oh! I am sorry. That's all right. That's all right. Can't you find it? Alexander. Alexander. What's the matter with you? Shh. Who are those men in there? A couple of real estate men, I think. I think they're a couple of crooks. Oh, you've been listening to too many radio programs. No, listen. Did your pop buy something from them? Yeah, but there was some mix-up, so they're buying it back. That's it. That's what I heard one of them say. He said, if he hasn't found out yet what he's bought, we can still get it back. Alexander, there's something phony going on. Gee, what do we do? Let's tell him. Uh, uh, nothing but envelopes with little windows in them. Oh, look. 
<laughs> Snapshots of little Cookie when she was a little baby. Wasn't she cute, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sure was. So how old was she when this was... <clears throat> Uh, well, now, let's see. That was about, uh... What about the paper? Oh, oh sure. Mr. Bumstead. Uh, oh, hello, Alvin. I'd like to talk to you. Yeah. Mr. Bumstead, if you don't find those papers pretty soon, why, we'll have to withdraw our offer. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no. Pop, listen. Mr. Bumstead, our time is worth money. Yeah. Uh, sure. Mr. Bumstead. Look, Alvin, I I'm awfully busy right now. Oh, but Pop... Alexander, this is terribly important. You may not interrupt. But, no. Okay, come on, Alexander. Uh, How do you like that? Yeah, parents can be so darn stubborn at times. We ought to just let them get hooked. Yeah. See, oh. this, this, here it you know, is. It oh, good, money. good. Do you have the money? Sure we have. Oh. Right over here, Mr. Bumstead. You yeah. sit right down here and oh. sign this release. Huh? Oh, yes, there it is. <laughs> oh. Right there. Mm -hmm. Alvin, what's the matter? Whatever it is they want your dad to sign, it's gonna cost him a lot of money. We gotta stop him. Yeah, but how? Gee, I don't know. Daisy. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Where'd you say sign it? Right here, Mr. Bumstead. Uh, oh, okay. oh, one of these kind of pens, huh? Yes. <laughs> Daisy, it's up to you. See that paper on the table? Go get it. Maybe we ought to get underwater to sign it, huh? Mr. Bumstead. Hey, hey, hey. Daisy, 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 Daisy. I'll smash the pin. Yeah. Daisy, come here, mother. Come here, baby. Here, Daisy. Come, come here, Daisy, dear. I got it. Oh, here it is. Did you get it, dear? Oh, fine. Fine. We have quite a bit of excitement. Right there, Mr. Bumstead. Yeah. Where's the pin? No, I put it right here. Pen? Hey, you got the pen? Uh, you got it, Miss Bumstead? Oh, no. Put it right here. Are you sure you haven't got it here, Mr. Bumstead? Look in your pockets, dear. I'll look for it over well, here. Maybe the get, dog's got it. Don't get excited. Just be calm like I am. I'll get another pen. Oh, dear, no ink in the inkwell. Children, run out to the kitchen quickly and get Mother's pen and ink. Hurry up now. Hurry okay. up, dear. Oh, dear, don't. did you hurt yourself? <gasps> Such excitement. Mr. Bumstead, listen. Look, Alvin, I told you before I'm busy. Now, you stay out of this. Dad. Have you got a pen? No, no, you wouldn't. We we're almost there. Hey! Oh! Oh, I am sorry. Not at all. Where's the pen and ink? Yeah. Where's the ink? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh Alexander, oh. how careless of you. I'm so sorry. And all over my best suit. Oh, now, now, don't you worry about the carpet. That's all right. <laughs> Who's got the pen? I have. <laughs> we'll use a pencil. Sign it, Mr. Bumstead. Oh, Mr. Sure. Bumstead, you gotta listen to me. These men are crooks. Oh, oh Alvin, Alvin, that's ridiculous. I heard them talking. They saw Mr. Bumstead something, and now they Madam, want to Madam, if these children interfere anymore, I'm gonna have to call off this whole deal. Now, just a moment, please. Why are you so anxious to stop this boy from speaking? If you don't mind, I'll hear what he has to say. That's telling him, Mom. <laughs> well, I heard these men talking on your front porch. Shut up, you oh, little yeah. half-wit. I, I, I did it all. <laughs> Do something, stop him. Sure, I'll do something the next time around. Oh, 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 no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. You can't push my wife. Oh. Oh. Come on, let's get out of here. Smack into the ends of it. Oh, that's the barbell I ordered. Oh, I thought I was a goner. The two of them coming to me going 90 miles an hour. Daddy, Danny, speak to me. Say something. Blondie. Just a minute, Mr. Dick. It's all right, Blondie. This is it. This is the track. 
You, you mean it's valuable? Valuable? It's priceless. Who are these fellows? Just a couple of men who are a little too smart for their own good. But if I thought they'd learned their lesson, and if they got out of here in ten seconds, I might not call the police. Well, where's Dagwood? Oh, well, where are they? Let me in. Oh, they've Let already me... gone, Dagwood. Oh, they can't take it, huh? Oh, Mr. Dixon. Oh, look, Mr. Dixon, I wasn't the one. You don't have to explain. Ted told me all about it. Yes, and that old swampland is just what Mr. Dixon needs. <laughs> oh, it is? Uh -huh. Uh, yes, sir, and Mr. Dixon is welcome to it for eight fifty an acre, just what it cost the Radcliffe Company. Just a moment, Mr. Radcliffe. Hmm? Aren't you forgetting something? You didn't buy that land. Dagwood did. He was only my dummy. Dummy or no dummy, he bought it. Now, see here, Blondie. She's too smart for you, Radcliffe, and you know it. How much? Well, Dagwood should have a bonus. Oh, that's right. $250? Three hundred and fifty. Now, wait a minute. And I want Dagwood to have a week off. Oh, oh no. Whole week? With pay. All right. Dad, Ted and I are going over to the house and take a swim. You wouldn't want to come along, would you? Uh, no. But you could drop me at Radcliffe's office. I want to close this deal. <laughs> well, goodbye. See you in a week, Dagwood. Glad to know you, Goodbye, Mr. Radcliffe. Goodbye, Mr. Radcliffe. Bye, Blondie. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, boy. A full week's vacation with me. Mm, now, what do we do? I know. The first day, we'll go fishing. The next day, we'll go on a picnic. The third day, we'll... Dagwood. The third day, we'll... Dagwood. What? The first day, you'll varnish the living room. Huh? The second day, you'll varnish our bedroom. Oh, the third day, you'll varnish the children's room. And the fourth day, you'll varnish the hallway. And the fifth... Day... The keys are in the brown one, uh, the one I spilled the milk on. for a flat tire. Ted can take us to a service station. Service station? Forget it. Ted, take us to Bumstead's. Well, I got it. <laughs> oh, Daisy. Oh, oh Daisy. <laughs> Oh. Glad to see us, huh? We were away a long time, weren't we? Huh? Yes. Come on, Daisy. This is Daisy. Shake hands with the gentleman, Daisy. <laughs> oh, why, oh, excuse me. Why, Daisy, I'm so surprised at you. Yeah, that's funny. She never growls at any of our friends. <laughs> Maybe she thinks we're a couple of dog catchers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple of dog catchers. <laughs> <laughs> She's too young for that kind of stuff, isn't she, Mom? <laughs> Cookie, you may not have pickles and ketchup. Pickles and ketchup. Mm, yeah. Oh, boy, that looks good. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> Mr. Bumstead. What? If you please. What? Oh, yes, yes, the, the, the paper, yes. Ted, how are your brakes? Oh, fair. Fair. Oh! Oh, I, I beg your pardon. Oh, that's all right. Say, Radcliffe, did you ever box with Bumstead? Huh? No. Oh, the man hits like a pile driver. Oh, really? Oh, yes. It's amazing. You know, he just winds up and then all of a sudden, right out of nowhere, wham! Oh! Oh, I am sorry. That's all right. That's all right. Can't you find it? Alexander. Alexander. I 
guess he did. Gee, and he's already in the doghouse. My cousin Ted's got a car. Maybe he can get the plans and take them down to the office. Oh, Alvin, do you suppose Ted would? Sure, I'll go ask him. Okay. Dixon, Dixon, that must be John B. Dixon. I've heard Daddy mention him. Now, let's see. Dixon, Dixon. Here we are. John B. Dixon, 603 Mapleton Drive. You got it fixed? Yeah. Ted, will you do an errand for Mrs. Bumstead? Sure, I'd be glad to. Oh, here's the address, Ted. All you have to do is ask for the plans for Mr. Bumstead. Thank you so much. Right. Me, uh, do you know if Mr. Dixon's at home? No, but I think you'll find Miss Dixon over by the swimming pool. Oh, thanks. Pardon me. I was to pick up some plans. Oh, yes, the man from the Radcliffe Company. Please wait. I'll get them, Mr. Bumstead. Mr. Bumstead. See here, Alice, if you think you're going to get away with this, you're mistaken. Oh, I am. Well, since when do you decide what I can and can't do? But I bought those tickets two weeks well, ago. Well, you can just go with somebody else. Now, you listen to me. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I, I just came here to pick up some plans. Some plans? Yes, the butler asked me to wait. Aaron boys aren't supposed to lie around the terrace. Oh, sorry. Don't go. You can stay here as long as you like. Let go of me. Alice, listen to me. Look, maybe I don't belong here, but before I go, let go of her. Sir, that certainly was a corking right hand. And if I may say so, sir, you certainly cooled off Mr. Day. Mr. Day? Miss Dixon's fiancé. My word, wait till Mr. Dixon hears about this. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Bumstead! Mr. Bumstead! I thought you told me that you didn't see the swimming pool. I did. Then how could you have locked his future son-in-law into it? Oh, but... Don't lie to me! You hit him so hard you cracked two of his teeth. Oh, I you're... don't want to discuss it. All I know is I wanted that Dixon job, and you've lost it for me. Uh, yeah, Dagwood, but... this is the last straw. Uh, you mean I'm... Yes, unless you square things with Dixon, you're through. He wants to see you. I don't know why, well, as he I... wants to beat you to a pulp himself. And that is a lovely thought. Hurry up now and get what's coming to you. Well, I... Well, I... Is Mr. D Dixon in? Oh, you're Mr. Bumstead. Mr. Dixon's waiting for you. Think there's any need for oh, yeah. You know what these are for, don't you? Uh, yes, sir, but... Come on, put them on. Get them on. 
Well, I hadn't expected anything like this. I... I'm supposed to be pretty good with these now. Huh? I want you to show me the punch you hit that conceited blue blood with. Come on. Oh, now, wait a minute, Mr. Dixon. No, I, 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 I you mean, know, the, you, that would-be son-in-law of mine. Yeah, Show me what you did to him. Yeah, Come but, on, give it to him. Now, wait just Come a minute. Come on, now, let me have it now. Come look, on. Now, look, now. look, look. Oh, wait a minute. What? Look now, Come Mr. On, Dixon. Come on, I can, I can no, take Mr. care Dixon. of myself. Come, Come on, on, let me have it okay. now. Come on. Where's that punch of yours? Oh, oh, wait a minute, Mr. Dixon. Look. It's... What happened? Oh. Oh. Uh, let me show you my office first. Where is that daughter of mine? Bumstead, fetch her in here, will you? Yeah, but uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, well. And remember, you're a single man. Now, that's an order. There's Daddy. Oh, shh. Hi, Pop. I'm not your Pop. Huh? It, well, I'm not married anymore. Mr. Radcliffe says so. Does Mom know about this? Yeah, look, Alexander. Daddy, I'm hungry. Shh, okay, okay. Would you like to get some candy or something, huh? Gee, swear. All, all right, now, here's 50 cents. You go down to the desk. I want a chocolate oh, soda. Sh all right, all right. Here, here. Go ahead. Go ahead. There you are. Bumstead, come in here. Yes, yes sir. sir. Oh, oh, uh, my assistant uh, uh, signs letters for me and everything. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, wait right here, will you, please? But oh, I... Wait right here. I'll be right back. Who's that? Oh, th this is Ted. His assistant. Yes, my assistant. Well, where's my daughter? Uh, oh, Mr. Bumstead asked her to wait. Yes, I asked her to wait. Well, what's the big idea? I want her to meet Radcliffe. Bring her in here, Bumstead. Yes, yes sir. sir. Who's that other guy? His shadow? Huh? His shadow. <laughs> Pretty uh. good. <laughs> Your father wants you to come in now. Thank you. Uh, uh, my, uh... My assistant and I have, uh, have to look up some plans. Uh, huh? we'll, we'll be in uh, later. What, what plans? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here she is. Alice, this is Mr. Radcliffe. How do you do? do, do? Bumstead's secretary, Blondie. Oh, Say, you? where is Bumstead and that other fellow? They went to look up some plans or something. Oh, for Pete's sake. Bumstead! What, 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 what do we do now? I wish I knew. of the Board of Directors of J.B. Dixon Incorporated. The following stipulations and corrections are in effect. This makes your fourth one. Isn't that enough? I want another one. Oh, Cookie, you spilled it. Here. I'm Alice Dixon. I believe my father is in with Mr. Radcliffe. Sign, J.B. Dixon. Yeah. Now, read that back to me, will you please? Oh, excuse me. Yes? Miss Dixon is here. Miss Dixon? Well, you hear that, Bumstead? My daughter's here. Surprised, aren't you? <coughs> yes, sir. Send her in. Oh, uh, send her in. Yes, sir. Would you go right in, please? Mr. Bumstead. Oh. Hello. 
I wanted to thank you for what you did. Clear it was impossible. I'm glad you taught him a lesson, Mr. Plumstead. Oh, well, well that's all right. Dad despises Cluett, but he likes you so well that he's going to see that you get a raise, Mr. Bumstead. Oh, oh, that's just fine. You know, Dad was teasing me. He said that I came up here just to see you. That would be silly, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, wouldn't it? No, I mean, I, I'm glad you did. Well, you don't act as if you were. Oh, I'm sorry, but I am glad to see you. Well, that's better. Let's go see Dad. He's in Mr. Radcliffe's office. Oh, oh, no, 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 let's don't. Well, Mr. Bumstead, if Dad doesn't behave himself, just hit him in the jaw again. <laughs> hit him on the jaw? Again? Why, yes. Like you did in his office. Oh, oh yes. In his office. Uh, let me show you my office first. Where is that daughter of mine? Bumstead, fetch her in here, will you? Yeah, but, uh, go but... ahead. Go ahead. Oh, well. And remember, you're a single man. Now, that's an order. There's Daddy. Oh, shh. Hi, Pop. I'm not your Pop. Huh? It, well, I'm not married anymore. Mr. Radcliffe says so. Does Mom know about this? Yeah, look, Alexander. Daddy, I'm hungry. Shh, okay, okay. Would you like to get some candy or something, huh? Gee, swell. Well, all right, now, here's 50 cents. You go down to the desk. I want a chocolate oh, soda. All right, all right, here, here. Go ahead, go ahead. Shh. Oh, Alice, there you are. Bumstead, come in here. Yes, yes sir. Oh, oh, uh, my... Boy, look, for once in my life, I'm going to put my foot down. I'm not going to do it. Fine day off. Doggone it. Varnish you floors. Oh, oh well, finished, Mom. Test out front. Can I go now? Oh, yes, dear. Oh, Alexander. Be careful, your father is garnishing the dining room. Yes, Mom. You be careful, too, Cookie. Ah, ah, ah. Don't come in here, fellas. The varnish is still wet. I've seen characters in movies get into predicaments like that, but never one in real life. May I ask you a question? I'm pretty busy, Alvin, right now. How are you going to get out of that corner now that you've surrounded yourself with varnish? Hey, now, that's a silly question. All I have to... All I have to do... All I... Oh. <laughs> I have a suggestion, Mr. Bumstead. Yeah, well, I don't want any suggestions. What is it, Alvin? There's a window right behind you. There is? Oh, yes, there is. <clears throat> good morning. Oh, good morning, officer. Say, you're new around here, aren't you? Yeah, I just graduated from the police academy yesterday. My first day on the force. Uh-huh. And they gave you this beat. What's wrong with it? Oh, nothing. But just watch your step when you're around the Bumstead house up the street. Good luck. the idea coming out the window? Well, well there's the only way I could get out. I was cornered. Cornered? Yeah, you see, officer, I had this stuff all over the floor. What stuff? Huh? Well, I didn't want to do it, believe me, but Blondie made me. 
Oh, an accomplice, huh? huh? Accomplice? No, Blondie, you see... Mr. Bumstead, please. Oh, hello, Ted. Oh, Mr. Bumstead, I... I... Oh, the plant. I forgot... But, Mr. Bumstead, I've got to tell Bumstead. you... Yeah, huh? Oh, well, you remembered it after all. I must admit, I'm surprised. Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Prick in my neck. Friend of yours? No. I, 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 I. Well, come into my office. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, Bumpson, how did you get along with Mr. Dixon? Well, He's uh, a tough customer. Did he have any complaints about these floor plans? Uh, no, but... That's good. He's got quite a place there, hasn't he? Uh, uh, Mr. Radcliffe, I... Uh... Did you see the swimming pool? Uh, no, but... You know, Dagwood, the fact that you remembered this little errand and did it right gives me some hopes for you. You're liable to be back in your own office sooner than you think. Oh, but... Yes? Mr. Dixon's on the phone. Fine, put him on. Hello, Mr. Dixon, how are you? Fine. Say, Radcliffe, what's the name of that fellow you sent over to my place? Oh, Bumstead. Yeah, that's right, Bumstead. Quite a fella. Packs a wicked right, they tell me. A uh, wicked right? I don't understand, Mr. Dixon. Uh, you mean he, he hit somebody? Huh? Hit somebody? You can say that again. Didn't he tell you? Well, no, he's, he's right here. He didn't say anything. Oh, I, 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 I... Oh, no! He did! Into the swimming pool? Oh, oh he, he ruined his clothes. He cracked two of his what? Oh, Mr. Dixon, I don't know what to say. Well, you don't have to say anything. Just send this fellow Bumstead over to see me. Mr. Dixon, I assure you I'll deal with him. Look, Radcliffe, didn't I make myself clear? Just send him over to me, that's all. Oh, well, yes. Yes, sir. What, 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 what happened? <laughs> huh? Well, Bumstead, you had quite a visit at the uh, Dixon place, didn't you? Well, uh, it, I... I thought you told me that you didn't see the swimming pool. Uh, I didn't. Then how could you have locked his future son-in-law into it? Oh, but... Don't lie to me! You hit him so hard you cracked two of his teeth. Oh, I you're... don't want to discuss it. All I know is I wanted that Dixon job and you've lost it for me. Uh, yeah, Dagwood, uh, this is the last straw. Uh, you mean I'm... Yes, unless you square things with Dixon, you're through. He wants to see you. I don't know why, well, as he I... wants to beat you to a pulp himself. And that is a lovely thought. Hurry up now and get what's coming to you. Well, I... Well, I... Is Mr. D Dixon in? Oh, you yeah. would buy it. That's what you said. That's right. That's right. A dummy would, wouldn't he? Yes. It, what? A dummy bought it. Bumstead. He bought your swap. Oh! Radcliffe, we're in business again. Mary, <laughs> get Bumstead on the telephone. Oh, no, he just left. Say, look, I've got to have that land. I own everything around it. This is the key piece. Never mind the phone. Let's go. Mary, keep trying to get the Bumsteads. And when you get them, tell Dagwood to sit tight until we get there. Yes, sir. The phone's ringing. Oh, there's a smart man for yeah. you. Yeah. That phone's been ringing ever since we got here. I wonder if that guy found out what we sold him. Well, if he didn't, he darn soon will. Maybe that's what the phone was ringing for. Who'd have dreamed it? Dixon wanting to buy that property. If we'd only used our two heads. We knew the property all around it was selling. We could have held him up for 30 or 40,000 bucks. Yeah, and you had to sell it to that chump. Cheap. Now, don't blame me. You were as tickled as I was when we found that yokel. Oh, well, there's no sense of holding post-mortems. If Bumstead hasn't found out what he bought, we still have a chance of getting it back. Yeah? Yep. We just tell him we made a mistake and we want to rectify it. We want to what? Rectify it. Change it! Oh, oh, yeah. But I wonder if he'd be sapping up to fall for that. Bumstead would. We sold him, didn't we? We can unsell him. What are you snooping around for? Yeah. Were you snooping? Or just listening? Huh? You know who lives here? Does somebody live here? Does somebody live here? The kid's a half-wit. Yeah. Did you hear us talking about Mr. Bumstead? Duh. Who's Mr. Bumstead? The man who lives here. Does somebody live here? 
Does somebody live here, he asks. Mr. Bumstead lives here, you imbecile. The who's he? The man who lives here. The what's his name? Mr. Uh, um, Bumstead. Yeah, Bumstead. Bumstead. Oh, you imbecile, get out of here, you lame brain, and don't come back. Oh, oh. Here he comes. Well, 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 Mr. Bumstead. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah. Huh? Hey, the crooks. Oh, I'll mow them down. What? I'll mow them down. Jackwood, what's the matter? Well, let me at him. Is it there the men that sold me that old swamp? Well, sure we are. I'm going to hear to wreck it. Rectify it? Yeah. yeah. Madam, would we be here if we had cheated your husband? Why, I guess not. Yeah? Well, I want my money. That's exactly why we're here. We want to give it back to you. Yeah. Huh? My dear boy, don't you understand that... Well, let me have it now. Come look, on. Look, look, now. look, look. Wait a minute. What? Look, now, Come on, I can, I can take care of myself. Come on, let me have it now. Come on. Where's that punch of yours? Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Dixon, look. It, oh. 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 oh, that did it. Huh? Where'd everybody go? Mr. Dixon, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Mr. Dixon, you, you can hit me, huh? Go ahead and hit me. Oh, say something, Mr. Dixon. Well, please, say something. Wonderful. Huh? Say, oh, yeah. I never would have believed it. Oh. Where did that punch come from? Oh, well, it... So that's what Clue had got. What? Beautiful. Huh? I'd have given a thousand dollars to see it. Well? Where in the world did you dig that punch up from? Well, you know, well, I was standing there, and all of a sudden, everything went black. Well? Now then, Radcliffe wants to build my new plant for me, eh? Oh, y yes, sir. Fine. The plans are okay. A few minor changes. I've noted them down. Oh, yes, Well, sir. never mind the plan. Huh? Bumstead, when I award a contract, uh -huh. the plans come second. Men come first. Oh, <laughs> I've made over a million dollars just being a good judge of men. Now, Radcliffe is okay. His plans are okay. Uh, but when a firm has a hard-hitting young executive like you, mm. that's the firm I do business with. Oh, gee, thanks. You'll get the job hands down, Bumstead. Oh. Well. And say, uh, my daughter was quite impressed by you. Oh. <laughs> How'd you like to come out to the house sometime? Maybe if that stuffed shirt Cluett shows up, you can knock him into the pool for me, huh? <laughs> well, I, I, uh, oh, well yeah. I'll see you later, Bumstead. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh. Yes, Marie? Mr. Jordan calling, sir. He's at the real estate office. Good. Put him on. Meanwhile, get the Radcliffe company for me. I never should have kept Bumstead even as an office boy. One of the most stupid things I ever did. Yes, sir. Yes? Mr. Dixon's on the phone. Mr. Dixon, I'm so glad you called. You saw Bumstead. Yes. Radcliffe, that man hits like a pile driver. He knocked me flatter than a flounder. Oh, no. He hit you, too? Mr. Dixon, this is the end. Huh? Bumstead? Yeah, that's right. Bumstead. Quite a fella. Packs a wicked right, they tell me. Uh... Wicked, right. I don't understand, Mr. Dixon. Uh, you mean he, he hit somebody? Huh? Hit somebody? You can say that again. Didn't he tell you? Well, no. He's, he's right here. He didn't say anything. Oh, I, 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 I... Oh, no. He did. Into the swimming pool? Oh, oh he, he ruined his clothes. He cracked two of his what? Oh, Mr. Dixon, I don't know what to say. Well, you don't have to say anything. Just send this fellow Bumstead over to see me. Mr. Dixon, I assure you I'll deal with him. Look, Radcliffe, didn't I make myself clear? Just send him over to me, that's all. Oh, oh yes. Yes, sir. What, 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 what happened? <laughs> huh? 
Well, Buff said you had quite a visit at the Dixon place, didn't you? Well, I... Uh, I thought you told me that you didn't see the swimming pool. Uh, I didn't. Then how could you have locked his future son-in-law into it? Oh, but... Don't lie to me! You hit him so hard you cracked two of his teeth. Oh, I you're... don't want to discuss it. All I know is I wanted that Dixon job and you've lost it for me. Uh, yeah, Dagwood, but... this is the last straw. Uh, you mean I'm... Yes! I'm... Unless you square things with Dixon, you're through! He wants to see you. I don't know why, well, as he I... wants to beat you to a pulp himself. And that is a lovely thought. Hurry up now and get what's coming to you. Well, I... well, I... Well, I... I... Oh, no. Uh, is Mr. D Dixon in? Oh, you're Mr. Bumstead. Mr. Dixon's waiting for you. Oh. there's any need for Oh, yeah. You know what these are for, don't you? Uh, yes, sir, but... Come on, put them on. Get them on. Well, I hadn't expected anything like that. <laughs> when I was on the varsity at Central High, old pile driver dag, they used to call me. Boy, would I hit that line. Five yards every time I carried the ball. <laughs> I used to be a pretty good passer, too. Now, look, Ted, the way you hold the ball is like Mr. this. Mr. Bumstead. Uh, uh, and the trick is to spin it. Mr. See? Bumstead. Uh, what? Ted was an All-American halfback when he went to college. Uh, oh. Then he played professional football. Mm. He still holds the record for passes completed in one game. Uh, oh, well. Well, um, I used to be a pretty good pass catcher, too. <laughs> Old Sticky Fingers Daggy, they used to call me. <laughs> sticky Fingers. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> we better go look for the football that's got my favorite finger. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, no. There it is. <laughs> come on, let's go get the football. Yeah. Oh, you come too, Mr. Bumstead. I, uh, I want to hear some more about Central High. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'll tell you the time we played in that blinding snowstorm. Hey, just a minute. I beg your pardon. You're not going in there, are you? I certainly am. But that's Bumstead's house. I'm well aware of that. But he hasn't gone to work yet. I know it. I gave him the day off. A little day off or no day off. You're risking your neck going up that path. That man comes out of that door doing 90 miles an hour. He'll knock you flat on a pancake. Bumstead, are you crazy? I'm warning you. Oh, good old Central High was six points behind. There we were on the 40-yard line with one minute to go. The quarterback called for a pass. Boy, I took off like a streak. Uh, uh, throw me a pass, Ted, and I'll show you. Go ahead, center it, Alvin. Come on, let's go. Don't you worry about me. I can handle Bumston. But uh... <laughs> I caught it. Oh, no. No, it can't be. Mr. Radcliffe, you're at the office. Bumstead, I ought to fire you. Huh? I didn't give you the day off to come out here and play football with these kids. Yeah. Come in the house. I want to talk to you. Uh, Just a minute. Uh, come in here. What did I tell you? 90 miles an hour. Well, Blondie, I, uh, I'm sorry to take Dagwood away, but I have something very important for him to do. Yeah. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Radcliffe. He can finish the floor Sunday. <laughs> Dagwood, huh? do you think you can be a dummy? 
Well, uh, I... Now, Mr. Radcliffe, I, Dagwood may not be a genius, oh, Wait a minute, all... wait a minute. You don't understand. A dummy is someone who acts for you in a business deal. Oh. Now, I want to buy some land, and I don't want my name used. Oh, that kind of a dummy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that kind... Pay off because I ask him to. Oh, that was nice of you, Blondie. Thanks. <laughs> I told him you had to varnish the floors. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no, Blondie. It's good for a boy to do some work around the house. Please, Blondie, I, I, I don't want to varnish the floor. Look, for once in my life, I'm going to put my foot down. I'm not going to do it. Fine day off. Doggone it. Varnishing floors. Oh, oh Mom, Ted's out front. Can I go now? Oh, yes, dear. Oh, Alexander. Be careful. Your father is garnishing the dining room. Yes, Mom. You be careful, too, Cookie. Ah, ah, ah. Don't come in here, fellas. The varnish is still wet. I've seen characters in movies get into predicaments like that, but never one in real life. May I ask you a question? I'm pretty busy, Alvin, right now. How are you going to get out of that corner now that you're surrounded yourself with varnish? Hey, now that's a silly question. All I have to, all I have to do, all I, oh. <laughs> I have a suggestion, Mr. Bumstead. Yeah, well, I don't want any suggestions. What is it, Alvin? There's a window right behind you. There is? Oh, yes, there is. <clears throat> Good morning. Oh, good morning, officer. Say, you're new around here, aren't you? Yeah, I just graduated from the police academy yesterday. My first day on the force. Uh-huh. And they gave you this beat. What's wrong with it? Oh, nothing. But just watch your step when you're around the Bumstead house up the street. Good luck. What idea? <laughs> what happened? Oh. Oh. That did it. Huh? Where'd everybody go? Dixon, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Mr. Dixon, you, you can hit me, huh? Go ahead and hit me. Oh, say something, Mr. Dixon. Oh, please, say something. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Say, oh, yeah. I never would have believed it. Oh. Where did that punch come from? Oh, well, it... So that's what Cluett got. What? Beautiful. Huh? I'd have given a thousand dollars to see it. Well? Where in the world did you dig that punch up from? Well, you know, well, I was standing there, and all of a sudden, everything went black. Well? Now then, Radcliffe wants to build my new plant for me, eh? Oh, y yes, sir. Fine. The plans are okay. A few minor changes. I've noted them down. Oh, yes, Well, sir. never mind the plan. Huh? Bumstead, when I award a contract, uh -huh. the plans come second. Men come first. Oh, <laughs> I've made over a million dollars just being a good judge of men. Now, Radcliffe is okay. His plans are okay. Uh, but when a firm has a hard-hitting young executive like you, that's the firm I do business with. Oh, gee, thanks. You'll get the job hands down, Bumstead. Oh. Well. And say, uh, my daughter was quite impressed by you. 
<laughs> How'd you like to come out to the house sometime? Maybe if that stuffed shirt Cluett shows up, you can knock him into the pool for me, huh? <laughs> well, I, I, uh, oh, yeah. well, I'll see you later, Bunster. Yeah. Oh, yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh. Yes, Marie? Mr. Jordan calling, sir. He's at the real estate office. Good. Put him on. Meanwhile, get the Radcliffe company for me. I never should have kept Bumstead even as an office boy. One of the most stupid things I ever did. Yes, sir. Yes? Mr. Dixon's on the phone. Mr. Dixon, I'm so glad you called. You saw Bumstead. Yes. Radcliffe, that man hits like a pile driver. He knocked me flatter than a flounder. Oh, no. He hit you, too? Mr. Dixon, this is the end. I'll fire him the minute he shows his face in this office. Wait a minute. Who said anything about firing him? But he hit you, and he, and he knocked that fellow into the pool. Cluett, listen, Radcliffe, let's get this straight. I despise that stuck-up blue blood. If I socked him myself, my daughter might marry the guy just to show me that I can't push her around. Very stubborn girl, Radcliffe, very stubborn. Incidentally, she's quite impressed by Bumstead. He's, uh... <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you find it? Alexander! Alexander! What's the matter with you? Shh! Who are those men in there? A couple of real estate men, I think. I think they're a couple of crooks. Oh, you've been listening to too many radio programs. No, listen. Did your pop buy something from them? Yeah, but there was some mix-up, so they're buying it back. That's it. That's what I heard one of them say. He said, if he hasn't found out yet what he's bought, we can still get it back. Alexander, there's something phony going on. Gee, what do we do? Let's tell him. Uh, uh, nothing but envelopes with little windows in them. Oh, look. <laughs> Snapshots of little Cookie when she was a little baby. Wasn't she cute, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure was. <laughs> so how old was she when this was... <clears throat> Uh, well, now, let's see. That was about, uh... What about the paper? Oh, oh sure. Mr. Bumstead. Uh, oh, hello, Alvin. I'd like to talk to you. Yeah. Mr. Bumstead, if you don't find those papers pretty soon, why, we'll have to withdraw our offer. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no. Pop, listen. Mr. Bumstead, our time is worth money. Yeah. Uh, sure. Mr. Bumstead. Look, Alvin, I I'm awfully busy right now. Oh, but Pop... Alexander, this is terribly important. You may not interrupt. But, no. Okay, come on, Alexander. Uh, How do you like that? Yeah, parents can be so darn stubborn at times. We ought to just let them get hooked. Yeah. See, oh, this, this, here it know, is. It oh, good, money. good. Do you have the money? Sure we have. Right oh. over here, Mr. Bumstead. Yeah. Just sit right down here and oh. sign this release. Huh? Oh, yes, there it is. <laughs> oh. Right there. Mm -hmm. Alvin, what's the matter? Whatever it is they want your dad to sign, it's gonna cost him a lot of money. We gotta stop him. Yeah, but how? Gee, I don't know. Daisy. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Where'd you say sign it? Right here, Mr. Bumstead. Uh, oh, okay. oh, one of these kind of pens, huh? Yes. Uh, Daisy, it's up to you. See that paper on the table? Go get it. Maybe we ought to get underwater to sign it, huh? Mr. Bumstead. Hey, 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 I'll smash the pen. Yeah. Daisy, come here, mother. Come here, baby. You're Daisy. Come, come Daisy, dear. I got it. Oh, okay, here it is. Did you get it, dear? Oh, fine. Hi. Yeah. Quite a right bit of excitement. Right, right there, Mr. Bumstead. Yeah. Where's the pen? No, I put it right here. The pen? Hey, you got the pen? Uh, you got it, Miss Bumstead? Oh, no. Put it right here. You sure you haven't got it here, Mr. Bumstead? Look in your pockets, dear. I'll look for it over here. Maybe the dog's got it. Don't get excited. Just sure. See? All I know is this is the man who came to the house and said he was Bumstead. But, but I... And knocked poor Cluett into the pool. Oh, I get it now. And a mighty pretty scheme it is, too. If you let me explain... Shut up! I wouldn't let you build a doghouse for me. I'll put up my plant with my own two hands before I'll give you a nickel's worth of business. Will you listen to me? No. I don't mind for myself. I can take it. When a dirty trick is pulled on me, I can fight back, and believe me, I will, too. But to play a low-down trick like that on my daughter... Father, please. Alice, wait a minute. I hope she pushes him down the elevator shaft. 
Mr. Dixon, you have every right to be angry, but things aren't as bad as they seem. If you'd only just listen. No. Yeah, but if you... No! Well, very well then, Mr. Dixon. Goodbye. Dixon. Yeah. Uh, huh? Oh, yeah. see you later. Fine pack of chiselers. Now, just a minute, Mr. Dixon. You can take your business anywhere you like, but I want you to understand one thing. In spite of what happened, those bumsteads are very fine people. Oh, skip it. And another thing. This whole thing is as much my fault as it is theirs. All right, so you're a chiseler, too. I did... uh, uh, where's my hat? It's in there. Radcliffe Construction Company. There's a call from Mr. Dixon. All right. Phone call for you. Hello? Yes, Jordan. What? Somebody grabbed it first. Oh, fine, fine. Well, somebody bought the piece of land I need right out from under my nose. That makes everything perfect. I couldn't build now even if I wanted to. Dad, listen. Ted explained the whole thing. It was just a silly mistake. All right, so it was a mistake. What do you want me to do? Kiss him? <laughs> well, well, no, sir, but I thought since this thing was mostly my fault, you wouldn't hold it against Mr. Bumstead, Mr. Radcliffe. Oh, well, the whole deal's off anyway. Somebody beat me to the land I need. Now, what gets me is how anybody ever found out I wanted that property. No man needs a right mind to buy that miserable piece of swamp. Come on, Alice. Swamp? Swamp? <laughs> Mr. Dixon! I heard you say swamp. You said swamp. That's what you said. Well, what about it? South Riverdale Road. Yes. Twelve and six-tenths acres. Yes. There's no other swamp around there. No, no. Are you sure you want to buy a swamp? Of course I am. It'll be a proving ground for my tractors right in my own plan. But you said that nobody in their right mind would buy it. That's what you said. That's right. That's right. A dummy would, wouldn't he? Yes. A, what? A dummy bought it. Bumstead. He bought your swamp. Oh! Radcliffe, we're in business again. Mary, get Bumstead on the telephone. Oh, no, he just left.